you can have all the talent in the world, but if your attitude ain't right, no point being a goalkeeper. You have some good days and some bad days with being a goalkeeper, it's all about your attitude. Train hard. Um, you got to train as, as if you were going to play a game and not really, myself, not really um, thought too much about that until I've been, you know, I've been at Bristol and met David Coles, my goalie coach, and didn't realise how important training hard is and, you know, touch wood, we've been um, getting the rewards from, you know, putting the work in, and in, you know, in the gym as well. So not just necessarily on the football pitch as well, so train hard's massive. Uh, my third tip would be uh, hand shape. Uh, it's important to get your hands set correctly um, and early enough, you know. Um, I see a lot of goalkeepers and top goalkeepers as well, like, they don't really, they're more natural goalkeepers than I'd say um, uh, training goalkeepers where they don't really tend to have their hand shape and, you know, in a position that where I would. My hand shape, uh, it's just, in relation to where my knees would, you know, my knees are slightly bent and my uh, elbows are tucked in and um, they're in a neutral position really, so and get down low and get down, you know, get to the high balls as well. So it's just in a in a, in a, in a core set position really, it's just in between, uh, in my midriff really. Diving forward, massively important uh, that you attack the, the, you know, the ball. Uh, a lot of you know, a lot of goals will go in, and I see goalkeepers back, you know, going backwards, and I'm sure they're pretty know as, as well as I do that, that the goal's probably gone in because he's do, he's dove backwards and not dove forward, and you've got to really really make sure that you you do step forward and and attack the ball. It's massively important. That would be it. My, you know my second top tip. My number one tip would be footwork. Um, you can stop, stop shots and save yourself from diving with footwork. All comes into play, uh, being a little bit of a, a midget myself, not the biggest goalkeeper in the world, footwork's probably more important for me. Because um, the, them low shots in the bottom corner are the ones in the top corner, I have to use my feet and then dive. Whereas uh, bigger keepers don't really have to do that, but that's would be my favourite, you know, that would be my top tip. That footwork's massively important and um, it comes into relations of all the games, so every every time you catch a cross, you need to use your footwork. Every time you dive, every time you catch it, you need to be, you know, you have to have good footwork. So footwork's massively important. That's my top tip.